Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer at his best. Sorry for all the traffic, noise. Hoping you can hear me good. Got my 2003 Chevy Silverado truck, cat eye truck. What we call it. I bought me a set of LTZ wheels and they already have tires on them. So I'm taking these wheels and tires off and I'm gonna put the LTZ wheels on. And uh, here at the local co-op, they're going to balance them and everything. So it should be good, I'm hoping. So, yeah, we'll just kind of another shot of these wheels before they pull it into the shop. And then we'll see what it looks like when they get done with it. So hang in there, guys, okay? Those wheels don't look too bad, but I'm hoping that it will look better with the LTZ wheels on it. But those don't look too bad. I, I guess I'm starting to kind of get used to it. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like here in just a little bit, okay? Just thought I'd show you this little Corvette sitting in here. Pretty cool car. Well, beautiful car. Getting the wheels balanced while we already have them off. I don't think they probably needed it, but you already got them off, so you might as well balance them, make sure they look pretty good. Mrs. PIB likes these. I don't know. I'm, heck, I might wind up keeping these and just putting it. I don't know. I kind of got used to seeing them like this now. I don't know. You know, I'm crazy. But anyway. Anyway, we like coming to this local co-op. Uh, they do they do good work, and I, like I told one of the guys, it's kind of like uh, being with family. I mean, you kind of know everybody. <laughs> that makes any sense. I'm down here so often, so I'll see y'all in just a bit. I just wanted to show you the Corvette, and, uh, and we'll see if this looks like with the wheels on. Hang in there, guys. While I'm standing here waiting for the cat eye truck to get done, I thought I'd show you some of these vehicles here. That's kind of a cat eye truck. Uh, what? Avalanche. I couldn't think of the word. But I was wanting to show you this little, uh, I guess this is a GMC. I'm not for sure. Yeah, Sonoma. But I like these trucks too. I like S10s and GMCs. We've had a lot of rain here, so everybody's vehicle's dirty, and on top of that, it's pollen. But it's a pretty cool truck. And I thought I'd look at this little Z71 here. I think this one belongs to one of the mechanics in here and uh, it might look rough but I guarantee you it runs great anyway just passing away the time thought y'all might be entertained by looking at some of the vehicles here see y'all in a bit okay what do you think guys What do you think? I kind of like it. Okay, guys, Mrs. P.I.B. and myself made it back home. And this cat eye truck. I had somebody at the co-op uh, that that works there. I, I know a lot of the a lot of the guys. Excuse me. That work there. But uh, this one particular guy, I didn't know him. He works there, but I didn't know him. But I've seen him before, and he said uh, he said that's a pretty clean cat eye truck. So that made me feel pretty good. But about it. Uh, let me know what you think about these wheels. I was telling my wife 
uh, she likes the other wheels, and I do too. I guess I got used to looking at them, and they're not a bad looking wheel. It's just a chrome was uh, peeling off there in several spots, but these tires are bigger. Uh, let me see. Two seventy-five, fifty-five, twenties. The other ones were two, two seven. I'm sorry, two seventy-five, fifty-five, twenties. The other ones were two seventy-five, forty-five, twenties. So they're a little bigger. And to me, I mean, just looking at it, they they uh, come out to the edge of the truck, where the other ones were kind of set in a little bit, just a little. But I could tell a difference in the stance. Of the truck they got pretty decent uh, tires on them pretty decent uh, they'll have to have you know tires sometime but not in the near future and uh, you know the guy I bought these wheels and tires from he uh, he had them on a Tahoe he I met him, we met about halfway, it's probably about 30, 20, uh, maybe 30, 35 miles between the both of us, so we kind of met in the middle, he was nice enough to bring me the wheels, and you know, we met in the middle there, kind of, and uh, he had some 22 inch wheels uh, on his that he had bought, and he said he just took these off his, off of his Tahoe, he said there's nothing wrong with the wheels, and I, I gotta tell you, I mean, they're a little bit dirty, but he had them off the vehicle for a while in his garage, and uh, I mean they're pretty clean. These are Michelin's uh, Defenders, and uh, yeah, they look pretty good. I mean I'm real happy with them. Like I said, it made the whole stance of the truck stick out a little bit. But like I said, I kind of got used to the other wheels, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. And uh, oh, the guy that was said we had a pretty clean. Cat eye truck. I don't know if you can see all that pollen under there or not, but it's just like a just like a river of pollen. Can you see all that yellow? Maybe you can. But that's what we deal with every day. I mean, it's just all over the truck. But anyway, uh, he was the guy said. Uh, I'll start this again. I get sidetracked easily, guys. Please forgive me. He said, it's a pretty clean cut eye truck you have. He said, uh, catfish. And uh, I said, hey, that's a pretty good name for this truck. So once again, I'm going to remind you, we're going to try to put a name on this truck. I've got Felix, you know, because I call it cat eye truck. That's what everybody calls them, cat eye trucks. Felix, the cat. And now i got catfish. So I'll fill that in there just for good measure. But I started uh, telling y'all about that the other day. But I, I kind of like these wheels and tires. It runs and drives good. They rebalanced them. Like I said, you know, and everything's looks pretty good. I mean, I, I kind of like it. Hope y'all do too. Or l just let me know which wheels you like the best. Uh, the guy was telling me that uh, those weld wheels are, you know, they're kind of expensive wheels. And uh, which I, I knew that, but... Uh, the wheels that we took off these are factory wheels but uh, he said if you ever hit a big chug hole or something they're more apt to crack as opposed to these so that was something to keep in mind because we got a lot of potholes here they just seem to pop up all of a sudden sometimes when it rains so much here in East Tennessee so anyway just thought I'd tell you that and uh, let me know what you think about this old cat eye truck here and uh Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's not much of a video, but to me, wheels and tires are a big deal for me. A big, big, big deal. I mean, it can, in my opinion, wheels and tires can make or break something. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. You're watching Primer is Best on YouTube. If you'd like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I'm also on Facebook, Primer is Best, and... Uh, Instagram primer is best got a second YouTube channel called man on a budget and I'm on Instagram man on a budget one Don't forget if you have an old car or an old truck you'd like me to put on my YouTube channel primer is best You can do so turn your phone this way sideways just like I have mine Please no music no foul language. That's all I'm saying. 
do a two or three minute video of what you're working on, what you just bought, what you just traded for, whatever your case may be. Of course, I don't know it. You do. You have to tell us what you're doing. Or just walk around it and use your finger if you don't want to talk. I understand. When I first started YouTube, uh, I had trouble getting my words out what I was really wanting to say. I understand that because I'm the, I'm the same way. Now I can't shut up, can I? <laughs> Now I can't shut up. But yeah, uh, two or three minute video. Turn your phone sideways and you can send me a video of your car or truck. Doesn't have to be a truck. It can be a car. Any kind of car. Pretty or ugly, I don't care. Send me a video and uh, you can send it to PrimerDisBest at Comcast.net or Facebook Messenger PrimerDisBest or Instagram Messenger PrimerDisBest. I'd appreciate it and it doesn't cost you anything at all just remember no music or foul language excuse me or foul language and please turn your phone sideways if you don't you get you just get a little screen if you turn it sideways like I have mine you get a full screen you can see a lot more detail a lot more of the video it makes it much more interesting thanks for watching guys I appreciate it God bless each and every one of y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next video don't forget just kind of look at the truck maybe you can come up with a name God bless y'all. The Lord is good. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. If you subscribe, you won't miss anything. God bless y'all. See you later.